Welcome to the very first Tutorial Tuesday on this channel. I decided that every single week I wanted to do tutorials on Tuesdays. So every single week you're gonna get a tutorial on Tuesday. So I hope you guys are stoked about that. If you guys notice that I have a lisp, it's because I have these Invisaligners in right now to straighten my teeth. I just started it yesterday, so I'm still trying to get used to it. So I might be a little lispy, but um, I wanted to let you guys know because I'm sure some of you might notice that. You'd be surprised what people notice in my videos. There's people that literally share timestamps of my videos where my face looks funny or something like that. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there so you guys are aware of it, but uh, that's not gonna stop us from making a tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to take a logo and make a t-shirt design out of it using Illustrator. Enjoy it, guys. Before we get into the video, I want you guys to know that I do have a t-shirt masterclass on Udemy. If you guys are beginners and you're looking to go pro pretty fast and you're looking to learn everything you can, definitely check out my Udemy course. I will link that in the description below. Anyway, recently I worked on a friend's project. His name is Reyes the Entrepreneur. I'm sure most of you have probably heard of him, but we worked on some merch together and I took his logo and turned it into a t-shirt design. So I thought it would be a great idea to show you guys how I did that and how you can approach turning maybe your logo into a t-shirt design or somebody else's logo. So um, it's actually quite simple. Basically the way I approach it is I build the t-shirt design around the logo. So we always start with the logo first as the solid foundation and then we take that and turn it into a t-shirt design. So we're gonna do that right now. I have a document right here pulled up. It's a four inch by four inch document. It's easier on my CPU and I can always change change the document size later on. So it's really not that big of a deal. So this is my version of his logo, just so you guys know. So I have the logo and what I wanna do is I just wanna create a duplicate copy of it and I'm just gonna make it one solid color. We're just gonna make it a black color real quick. So now I have the logo right here, just black. And what I wanna do is I actually wanna make a color palette out of his logo as well. So I have the color. So I'm just gonna drag out some rectangles real quick. And if you guys don't know where the rectangle tool is, it's right here on the left side. And you can just hit M on your keyboard if you're on a PC or a Mac and that will also go to it. So I just wanna make sure I'm on the selection tool or you can hit V on your keyboard to go to that. Again, it works for PC or Mac. And then I wanna go to the eyedropper and I just wanna eyedrop some of these colors. So I'm gonna duplicate the rectangle. I'm just gonna click on this rectangle that I already have, hold an option and I'm gonna duplicate it real quick. Go back to the eyedropper tool, select this gray color. Now we are good. And we can even go back to it one more time and select maybe like an off black color to finish the palette off just like that. So now we have this off black color. Now we have this color palette that we can utilize. And now the next thing I wanna do is basically start putting together this design. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did this Butt Reyes design right here. It's a super, super simple design. And that's what I like, guys. I like creating designs that are really simple, but they're eye-catching and people will wear it. It's not over complex or anything like that. So um, I think it's really important to think simple versus complicated, because nine times out of 10, somebody's gonna buy the simple design over the complicated one, okay? So with that in mind, we're gonna go and go over the font real quick. I'm just gonna go to my T-Tool. I'm gonna type out something. We're gonna go to test, and I'm gonna go to the font that I'm using today, which is called, where is it at? I'm using a font called Alfran, and I actually have it right here and I'll type it out so you guys see the name really big. So that is the font that we're using. It's called Alfran and I think this one's actually a really, really nice font and it's nice and bold and that's exactly what I want. So we're gonna uh, make sure we have that font being used on this design. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna do is go to my layers. We're gonna create one more layer here and I'm gonna use this as a background layer. So we're just gonna drag out a background. I want this background to be black because I want this design to be on a black shirt. I always wanna make sure I set the t-shirt color first and figure out what t-shirt colors I'm gonna print on. I decided to go with black, so now we have our garment color here and we're gonna go ahead and name this garment color, our t-shirt color, okay? Or background color, whatever you want. We're gonna go ahead and lock that layer. We're gonna create one more layer and this is where our design is gonna sit. So we're just gonna name this design. Every other layer we can ignore because those are from my previous projects. Now what I wanna do is go to my rectangle tool so we can hit M on our keyboard and I wanna go to white and I wanna set the design width, okay? So I wanna figure out exactly how wide I want this design just so I understand exactly how wide it's going to be if that makes sense. So we're gonna drag out a rectangle. I wanna make sure it is centered and then from here, what I wanna do is go to my rulers, which I already have pulled up. If you don't have your rulers pulled up, just go ahead and go to Command R, or you can go up to View and make sure rulers are selected right here. So you can actually toggle it on and off. I'm using these rulers to figure out exactly where I want this design to stop on the left and right side. So we are gonna go, we can delete that shape now. We are ready to start designing. So now what I wanna do is hit T on my keyboard and we're gonna type out but, just but, real quick. And we wanna make sure this font is white because right now it is black and it's blending in. And then from here, what I wanna do is increase the font size. So I'm just gonna basically drag it out 
I'm holding in shift when I'm doing this, but uh, basically we just wanna position this within our ruler so we know exactly where it's gonna sit. We don't want it to leak outside of that, so we're gonna basically fine tune it until we see that it is inside of those rollers. Now what I would like to do is hit M on my keyboard to go to the rectangle, and I'm gonna drag out a rectangle about this big. We need some room, obviously, because we need to put the text at the bottom still. So um, that looks pretty good, I think. Now we have a rectangle. We're not gonna mess with any colors yet. We will worry about that later on. So now I just wanna center that. And then we're gonna duplicate this top text line and drag it to the bottom. And we wanna type out Reyes, okay? Cause that's obviously uh, Reyes' name. Basically take the right corner and just drag it in holding in shift. That's why we created the rollers because we really wanna make sure that the font is within those rollers so everything is lined up correctly. Now what I wanna do is make sure all the spacing is uh, balanced. That way the design doesn't look off balance, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna use my rollers to do that. I'm dragging a roller between the rectangle and the font just to make sure that this is gonna match up at the bottom as well. And it's okay if it's like a slight bit off. Now what I wanna do is select my rollers that I just made. So all I wanna do is go to my selection tool or hit V on your keyboard. I wanna click and drag and highlight those rollers and I'm gonna hold an option and just duplicate them. So I'm dragging them down to duplicate and now we have a duplicate copy of those rollers and we can kind of make sure that everything is aligned. Now what I would like to do is add color before continuing on and adding the logo. So we're gonna select the top and bottom text lines. We're gonna go to our eyedropper tool and go ahead and select this gray color right here. That's exactly why we made this color palette so we can make it really easy to color our design later on in the design process. So as you can see, it's making things much easier. Now I don't have to wonder what color I wanna make things later on. So anyway, uh, now what I wanna do is make sure this rectangle is this gold color, so it is. Now I wanna actually take the logo and position it, but before I do that, I need to delete this text at the bottom of it. Now what I wanna do is Command C on that logo to copy it. Then I wanna go up to my design layer and paste it real quick. So now we have the logo pasted, and we're gonna drag this in place. Now it's a matter of positioning the logo where we want it. So I actually do want the logo to be a little oversized, and I did tilt it a little bit. So we're gonna tilt it about right there, make sure it's centered. I think this is about right. I'm gonna double check everything to make sure. I think it needs to be a little smaller, just a tad. I figured out the positioning of my logo, the rotation and everything, and the size. Now what I wanna do is take that logo and cut it out from that gold background. In order to cut this logo from the background, all I have to do is actually select the logo and the rectangle, the gold rectangle, and then we're gonna hit minus front. As soon as you do that, it's gonna take the logo that's in the front and it's gonna minus it from the background, which is the gold background rectangle that we created. And now we're left with this stencil. And if you actually, hide everything, all the rollers, you can see that it is cut out. That's exactly what I wanted. We're not quite done yet though. I need to create the bottom text line. So we're gonna type that out real quick. I'm just duplicating Reyes real quick and then uh, double clicking on it to change it. And we're gonna type out Reyes, the entrepreneur, okay? And we need to resize this real quick because it's way too big. So we're gonna resize it just like that. So Reyes, the entree, pray. <laughs> so I'm typing out Reyes, the entrepreneur. I wanna make sure I'm color picking this gold color. And then I also wanna change the kerning, so I'm gonna hold an option and change the kerning. Or I can go up to the character palette and do it right here where it says VA. Um, but I just hold an option and do it that way, it's easier. And um, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into place and then we can resize it. So we're just gonna resize it real quick. If you're a little lost right now, I definitely suggest you go learn Illustrator in and out and learn all the tools because it's gonna make it much easier for you to follow along because my tutorials are a little bit more advanced. Now what I wanna do is add a stroke to everything but Reyes the Entrepreneur. So we're gonna go ahead and select but and Reyes. We're gonna outline that text. We're gonna go ahead and add a outside stroke. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I also need to make sure that but is in its own group and Reyes is in its own group as well and you're gonna see why. And then from there I can select each text line and then make sure it's on the outside, not the inside. And we wanna make sure it's the same color as our color palette, which I already have here in my swatches, so it is. Then we wanna change the stroke from basic to this textured version real quick, and then we're gonna lower the stroke, just like this. So now we have this texture, and we don't want it to be too crazy, we want it to be very subtle. We're gonna do the same exact thing for Reyes, but this time we're gonna make sure the stroke's a little different because it's probably gonna to be too overwhelming for the bottom text since it is smaller, if that makes sense. So we want it to be very subtle. So we're gonna go ahead and go up a little bit with it. That's still too much. So we're gonna go ahead and go down once. We're gonna change this to, let's say 29. See what that does. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and try 35 real quick. See what that looks like. So 35 looks pretty good. And now what we wanna do is do the same thing for the center, okay? So we're gonna add the stroke and then we're gonna change the color to that gold color so it matches. And then we're gonna look at it real quick. I think that looks pretty good. All we did was outlined all the text. We grouped it individually. So butt is in its uh, own group. Reyes is in its own group. And then the rectangles by itself. And then the bottom text we're not gonna worry about because we don't wanna add a stroke to it. And then what we did is we actually added a stroke to 
all the gray text, right? And then we change it from basic to the textured stroke, which is a charcoal feather stroke. And then from there, we actually did the same thing to the rectangle that's in the center. And that's basically it. And we just wanna make sure the stroke matches the color of what we're adding the stroke to, and we're good to go. So, but Reyes has a stroke of gray, and the gold rectangle has a gold stroke. So you just basically wanna match the stroke color to whatever the uh, color is of that object that you're adding the stroke to, and you're good to go. Learning how I approach design and how I figure out problems is gonna help you so much more, and it's gonna teach you to do that in your own work, if that makes sense. If I teach you every little step, every little tool, you're just gonna learn to copy me, and that's not not gonna help you out, I promise. So design theory, figuring out how balance works and color theory works and everything else is gonna help so much more. Anyway, that was the first tutorial Tuesday on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a comment in the section below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Also hit the thumbs up button on the video. And of course, make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already. And if you guys wanna learn some more t-shirt design, I do have a Udemy course linked in the description below so you guys can learn further. Guys, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Came through dripping aquafina. I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Flow make bitches, I'm on my business. Stack chicken like what it's gon' be. Crew in the cut, and hey, you want us for a run when I tell a bit peace. Love is love.